Hey everyone, it's Brandy from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well and that your weekend is going well. Um, I have an unboxing for you today, but you can already kind of tell um, this really isn't the norm of what it looks like. Let me zoom you out real quick. Um, I had started recording this and I don't know if a text message messed things up or if I hit something, but I was just talking, talking, talking and then noticed that my screen darkened and when I hit it, it was definitely not recording. So um, we have two kits today from Pam's Diamond Payment. I have ordered some things from her before and so far I'm pretty impressed with the quality of things. Um, it did come in a brown shipping box. I do have two kits for you. One came in plastic, the other one didn't. Both of these kits are, are, are on the larger side, which one of them I didn't realize how big it was, but Yes, two from Pam's. She sent a very nice thank you card thanking me for my purchase. I get, got my invoice and I got um, this really nice uh, Sugar Skull uh, Day of the Dead cover minder. Here's her business card and on the back are all of her socials, which I will be linking both of these kits below, but you may pause this to read. So thank you for that, Pam. Um, there were two... I'll grab one real quick because I'd already put them up. But we got, I got two kits right here, tool kits, baggies, tray, a pot of wax, regular wax, angled tweezers, diamond painting pen, purple squishy, and um, some thicker multi-placers. Also, both of the tool kits came with a roll of washi tape. So this is really, really pretty and you get a fairly nice amount with it. So thank you again for those, Pam. So this first one is a 60 by 90. I believe both of these are square. Um, and let's get into it. So this one right here is from Beetlejuice. The artist is Gus Fink, also known as uh, Emmy Boz over on Instagram. I have quite a bit of her art in my craft room, which I do still have to take you guys on a tour of that, especially now that it is cleaned up. Um, but this is a 60 by 90 square at the top is Pam's emblem. And in the upper right and the lower left, you do have your legends right here. There are 50 colors in here with one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. So that's going to be really, really interesting to see. Um, this is very, very confetti heavy, extremely confetti heavy, but, um, Gus Fink's art is more on the watercolor type um, look to it. So to get that kind of still uh, effect, there's going to be a lot of confetti. But if you look, the symbols are very, very clear. We have our dark letters on our light backgrounds and light letters on our dark background, which I do appreciate. Now, it does have a very thin um, plastic, and I did tear it by accident. So you must be very, very careful I'm not going to pull very much of it back. They came relatively, you know, very flat. This particular one did. Um, it's got a soft back to it. It does have these surged and poked edges. It is very, very sticky. Now, I did notice on this that the glue extends about an inch or so past the um, drill field. So, I'm going to have to use some thicker washi tape. But, yeah, I am really... Now... Over on the side, it comes over a little bit on the legend, but not as much as it does um, at the bottom. I'm gonna check the top real quick to see if that's the same thing, but I will definitely have to use some thicker washi or double it up so that way my arm and fuzz and cat hair doesn't stick to it. Now it's not so not as bad on the top, but there is still quite a bit of glue um, on the top. <clears throat> so I'm sorry if I seem a little um, miffed it's just because I had to start filming again and you missed the cat cameos but that's fine so here are our ginormous pack of drills they are huge they are like I said they are both square you do have an inventory so let's get that out and take a peek um I am really excited that Dust Sphinx art is licensed with Pam's Dunn painting now. I absolutely love it. And there's quite a few to choose from on the website. Um, all right, so this is one big sticker sheet. You do get a um, picture or thumbnail to put in your logbook. 
if you want. I kind of wish it wasn't folded so much like this uh, because it's kind of creased on the sticker. These are not, you'll have to cut these out, which is fine if you choose to not work out of baggies, but you can see that, excuse me, it shows all the colors with the ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a super shiny coating. So if you're new, I will take a second to show you the difference. This is actually a very bright, colorful, lots of greens, different shades, pinks, uh, whites and everything, peaches in here with a little bit of brown and everything. But you do get this for your logbook. I wish the picture was a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, it is there and I do really like it. We have some very large bags right here. So here's one, three, six, five. It does have the DMC on here as well as the kit number and the size of the kit. And then it has how many grams of drills. So <clears throat> I have not yet started working on one of Pam's kits, but I've heard nothing but good things. Here's 712, another very large bag. Let's pull out a dark color. Um, the reason why we pull out the dark colors is to, you know, show uh, because the dark colors seem to be more mass produced, but you never really know until you start um, putting them down on the canvas. But for right now, they actually look really decent. So look at these other big bags we have. Well, that wasn't really not that bad. Big. Here's another big bag, this really pretty seafoam green. We have 913, really, really pretty. But let me dig out the ABs. I don't believe, I'm not sure if they're in order, but they were all put together. So we have one, two, three, four. Let me see when I say there's one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. So here we have them. So let me just move this over here. So we do get 740. 3078. We have the red AB, 666. 701. 605. And 602 AB. So let's try and see. I will do my best, you guys, to try and see where these ABs go, and I will move you in. So I'm actually just going to go and kind of peek around to see if I can find them. This is so large, but let me zoom you in real quick to see if I can find them. So the red is a really weird sign. I would, so we have some of the red in the bow tie right here. They're really all gonna be sprinkled around. Um, I think I see some in the roof of the mouth. Um, yeah, you guys, this is going to be very kind of difficult for me to find. 701 is a circle with a line through it. Um, th yeah, this is going to be a bit much. So I do apologize and I will zoom you back out. Um, this is just going to be a, a lot for me to try and find the ABs, but there isn't a, a very, like, a huge amount. So I do believe that they're going to be sprinkled throughout the kit. So what do you guys think about this? Um, you know, this would also go under Miranda's, uh, you know, the, the darker side of diamond painting, you know. Um, Dustin's art is a little bit on, is, is on the darker side, and I do know people do appreciate that. Oh, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to store this particular one because it didn't come wrapped in any plastic. But I do believe that I have some hangers that I can... Oh, and I didn't put the inventory back in. Uh, that hangers that I can kind of hang this up in so it will stay... Or it'll go back underneath the mattress in the spare bedroom to keep it flat. So now I'm just going to struggle trying to wrap this up tightly because there's so many drills. I've honestly, I've been trying to get away from, from the larger canvases, but you know, I do know to get the amount of detail you're wanting that it can be difficult. So I'm going to kind of just flip this one over so we can get into the next canvas right here. So this one did come in a dust bag, whereas the other one didn't. Um, normally 
I do my very best to try to get them in the dust bag, but sometimes it doesn't always work out. So here are our drills for this one. This one is tight, so I'm sorry. I should look at my interview. So the first one I showed you by Gus Fink is called uh, Till Death Do Us Part. This was supposed to be a 60 by 60. Not a 60 by 90. I'm going to have to email her. Um, yeah. So this next one's called Frankenstein Monster by Bowana Art. And this is a 60 by 80. Um, and here is our thumbnail of what it looks like. And here are our drills. I'm super excited by all these blues, greens. I can see some ABs in here. This is also a square diamond painting as well. Let me pull this out. Hopefully I don't tear any sort of plastic on here. All right, so I'm going to unroll this one. I'm gonna roll it backwards actually. You know what, I might not have ripped that. Uh, I know I did a little bit, it might have been two because on here we have two sheets of plastic kind of to make it easier. So I'm gonna double check before we end the video to kind of peek back. Now these are laying really, really flat. I do like how they are packaged, rolled over the drills like that. Poured glue is very, very forgiving. So let me zoom you back out so we can get this whole um, painting in here. But here it is, you guys. Here it is. I am in love with this image. This screams retro, um, total retro on here. And hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, you guys, I'm sorry about that. So um, my neighbor's cat is outside, so the boys see her, and Lucifer is chattering and scraping at the window, and it was really distracting. All right, so here we go. These have, let me slide this up. These have two separate pieces of plastic on here, which I do really, really like. It makes it um, much easier um, so the plastic does not tear. So, I'm also in love with this, besides the fact that it's so retro, um, it's screaming, you know, that era. Um, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, Boris Karloff as Frankenstein. Fun fact, Boris Karloff narrates the original Grinch, if you were unaware of that. Um, there is actually a nice combination of color blocking confetti and line blocking and color blocking confetti. So color blocking, same color, large amounts of the same color right here. Um, line blocking would be across this way. Um, we have color blocking confetti where you have an opportunity to use our multi-placer without having to change the color that often. And then down here is where you would have like your confetti. So that is a very, very nice mixture. And right here, you guys, it does say, um, I'm not quite sure what it says down here. Um, I don't know if it's the artist or what, there is a signature down here, so I guess I'll have to take a peek and see, because it does not show, oh, it does show, so maybe I can read it on the inventory. So let me open up the um, drills real quick, so I can figure it out. All right, there are, like, let me see. I'm sorry. There are 50 colors in this one, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ABs in this one, you guys. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. 
but let me get out this inventory right under here. This is also a square again. Now this one though, does not have any sort of grid lines to it at all. So I'm definitely going to also reach out and find out about that as well. Alrighty, so, um, okay, so here it is. And I am not quite sure what that says in the bottom corner, but um, yeah, it's, it's on there. But here's our thumbnail, and then here are our, uh, our, legend, our, our legend right here. So it looks like we've got um, 904, 820, 742, 704, 666, 550, 444, 3078, and 211 for our ABs. So that really gorgeous green, red, light purple, a big bag of 3078, 444, that bright yellow, 704, the bright green, 742, 550, and then last but not least, 820. You guys, this is going to be absolutely amazing. And it's not white in the background. It is a ba big bag of that mint, that light mint, the 3756. Um, I'm absolutely love it. And then, of course, 939. Is there even any 310? There is no 310 in this kit, you guys. So this will be that dark blue. So that's probably going to go here on Frankenstein himself. So what do you guys think? I love this one. Um, this one is on my plan for um, October of this year for Drills and Chills. This is going to be my Halloween canvas right here. So I'm really, really excited about that. So I'm going to just kind of go through real quick and see um, without the drills if I can find, um, find the, let me just get this that together real quick if I can, because it looks like I made a really, 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 really big mess. All right, so I'm gonna put this back down. Now let's see. So wherever you see this light green, the threes right here, let me see if I can move you in a little bit. All right, so the threes are gonna go on uh, sprinkle around Frankenstein's face, that group, that uh, 704. Um, the red AB is going to go down here with the fire. 904 looks like the little headphones, and that's going to be sprinkled also on Frankenstein as well. Um, 820 is going, no, that's not it. Eight, oh, yeah, 820 is going to be sprinkled in this background right here, especially... Well, not really in here, but it's going to be sprinkled where you see that dark. Um, the light. So that 550AB is going to be sprinkled on the highlights of her white dress. Um, we have the light yellow that where there's little check marks. So that's going to be um, in his face. And I'm usually not a fan of ABs in the face. However, he's fictitious and a monster, so it might actually kind of work. So we'll have to see. But yeah, you guys, let me zoom you back out real quick. This is my order from Pam's Diamond Painting. Um, make sure you stay till the end of the video and I will make sure to give you an update on what she uh, says about the size. Um, it could have been just a mistake or what have you but I will definitely uh, get back to you on anything that she says. So let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you leave a comment and stay tuned for the follow-up. Other than that, my friends, um, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey friends, it's me. So it's been a while since I filmed the video you just watched because I was waiting on a response from Pam. Um, I haven't heard anything yet. So I'm gonna keep trying to get in contact with her to ask about the stuff I had mentioned in the video. 
and um, I'll get back to you when I hear something, but I just didn't want to wait any longer to get this video up because I really wanted to share these kits with you. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and be safe, be kind. Bye.